Hey guys, it's Music Tech Help Guy, and today I'm checking out the Danny wireless audio transmitter from Dillinger Labs and Ska Wireless. Now, at first, this thing might look like sort of like a weird DI box sort of contraption, but it's actually a really cool sort of like Swiss Army knife pro audio transmitter. And in this video, I specifically want to talk about using this as a wireless headphone system for studio recordings. But before I get into that, let's talk about some of Danny's features, as well as a bit of background information about this as well. On the Danny transmitter, you have a USB-C port for charging the internal battery, a power button, which you can hold for one second, and it'll show you the battery life. Danny has its own internal battery that lasts 14 hours on a single charge, a master volume control, and an antenna. On the other side, you have left and right inputs, but because SCA receivers can be set to stereo, left only, right only, or even some to mono, you don't actually have to use this in stereo if you don't want to. The inputs will receive either TS or TRS quarter inch connectors. Then there's also through outputs for both channels one and two. So you can daisy chain this over to another Danny if you need even more receivers or hook these up to additional wired speakers. You have individual negative six or negative 12 pads for each channel, as well as a setting to receive plus four pro audio line level signals or negative 10 consumer line level signals. Now you might've seen Crossfader's review on this product where they used it as a pro audio wireless solution for DJs. Imagine hooking up your DJ rig or the output of a mixer to Danny, and then being able to transmit that audio over to four wireless speakers at 36 milliseconds of latency. You can ditch any and all signal cables or power cables once signal gets to Danny. So this is great if you're DJing a wedding or an event where you just need to play music for people and you know having 36 milliseconds of latency is not really a problem. Now, if you need even lower latency for maybe like a live DJ performance or a live electronic music performance, or even using this for karaoke or even live sound reinforcement for a musical gig, you can actually cut the latency from 36 milliseconds down to 19 milliseconds using Ska Pro. In Ska Pro mode, you can send signal to two speakers at 19 milliseconds of latency. Now I do have one of these thousand dollar soundbox speakers, but I'm not a DJ and I'm using this more for casual listening or if I have a party or something. But after hearing about the Danny transmitter, I thought to myself, what if I could use this as a professional headphone monitoring system for studio recordings? It's easy to record with wired headphones if you're standing right in front of your studio desk or your audio interface. But what if your musician's a little further away or maybe in a completely different room? You either need to run a really long cable from your audio interface over to the musician, or you have to set up a headphone cue mix in your DAW and then output the signal out of some of your additional outputs on your audio interface over to a headphone amp and then the musician plugs into the headphone amp. That's also going to require a really long cable run. More wires, more cables for both signal and power. So there's a lot to set up there. And if you want a professional studio grade headphone monitor system with personal mixers like the Aviom system you see in a lot of pro studios, this will cost you around two to three thousand dollars, depending on what system you get and how many personal mixers you want. The Danny is two hundred dollars US. But what about headphones? Can you hook headphones up to this thing? Well, you can. Headphones function just like any other SCA receiver, just like a speaker. So you can actually hook up two pairs of headphones to the Danny for wireless headphone monitoring. These are the Dillinger Helix headphones. They run for 189 US and they're SCA headphones. So they'll work with Danny just like any other SCA speaker would. the main question you probably have is latency going to be an issue here. You all know that you should turn your buffer size down when recording to minimize latency and pull it back up again when you're mixing to maximize processing power. Scott Pro is an additional 19 milliseconds of latency that's going to be added onto your output latency for monitoring music and then you can add your input latency on top of that as well. 
So if you're using a really low buffer, like 32 samples, basically we're talking about recording with 20 to 25 milliseconds of latency to monitor music, again, plus the input latency to monitor yourself playing or singing, as opposed to the typical seven to eight milliseconds round trip latency you'd usually hear. And these things vary too, depending on what interface you're using, what sample rate you're running at. Uh, you probably all already know that if you use a higher sample rate, your latency goes down. And also how you have your interface connected to your computer uh, also matters. If, is it USB-C, USB-A, is it Thunderbolt, is it old school Firewire? So there's a lot of different things that can vary the latency. Yeah, so I'm not really hearing um, any latency. Uh, I could play along with um, um, you know myself in the headphones. Um, if there's a little latency, it's like I said, it's sort of right on the cusp of where I can notice it. So let's try this again, but I'll throw a click track in and I'll throw a drum, a drum loop and some other instruments in to play with. Yeah, that's great. There's uh, no noticeable latency whatsoever. I can play right along with the click track and the other instruments, just like I could if I was using a wired setup. So in my tests using the Helix and Danny for recording, 20-ish milliseconds has not been a problem for me at all. And honestly, using the Helix headphones along with Danny is just about the easiest to set up and easiest to deal with headphone system for recording that I've ever used because there's no wires, there's no cables. It's really simple to set up. With Danny and Helix, all I have to do is set up a headphone cue mix in my DAW. So in Logic, I just create a send over to outputs nine and 10. You can use whatever outputs you want on your interface. I just like to use nine and 10 because these are the last pair of analog outputs on my interface. Then I connect those outputs to inputs one and two on my Danny. Here I'm doing this through my patch bay, but you can connect them directly if you like. Just make sure you're on plus four pro audio line level for this. Or if your audio interface is smaller and it doesn't offer more than two outputs, you can buy a stereo to mono quarter inch cable and use the headphone output on the interface to connect to Danny. Just make sure you're on negative 10 consumer level for this. I make sure that Danny is turned on and the volume is up. Turn on a pair of Helix headphones, double click the bond button to bond with Danny, and I'm all set. I might want to save Danny as a favorite transmitter. To do that, I'll just hold the bond button for three seconds and you'll see that it turns green. Okay, so uh, as one sort of final proof of concept, I'm gonna track some vocals. Uh, don't judge my singing too harshly here. I'm just kind of improv uh, improving this as I go. So here it goes. You love me every day, just like the day when we Hold me closer till the daylight comes Don't let me drift away, don't let me ever go You've got that kind of love to keep me satisfied Well, I clipped the mic a little bit, but I think you get the point. <laughs> So that's how you can use Danny and Helix, both powered by Ska wireless technology to set up a wireless headphone system for studio recording. No clunky boxes, no musicians messing up the cue mix, no wires, no cable runs. You can reduce clutter and simplify your recording setup. And the price for these is comparable to a good set of headphones and a good headphone amp. If you want to learn more about all things ska, you can head over to ska.com or skastore.com.
Hope you guys enjoyed this video and thanks for watching.